So welcome to Golden Rule Kombucha, and we're going to make a uh, small batch of uh, kombucha. So first thing that I need to do is clean up and get started. So I'm gonna wash my hands. And then I put this protective, um, stylish, uh, Star Wars protective, um, just to keep my clothes from getting dirty because we do get a little messy in here. So with kombucha, um, we we're gonna start over on the side over there and we're gonna brew some tea. So what I've done is over here we have, um, this is our organic loose tea and our organic uh, sugar that we use. This is a top secret tea blend that I'm not gonna divulge. So it's um, kombucha really begins with the tea because that's really where it's at. So while we're brewing the tea, we gotta let it steep. And then after it steeps, I'm gonna remove the tea, get some of the extra water out. And then I'm gonna add the sugar and I'll dissolve the sugar. I'm gonna add my sugar. And stir until it's dissolved. We go through about maybe 200 pounds of sugar a month. So we've really amped up our production a lot, so. So we have our tea. So now we're going to make um, one of our uh, flavors is appleberry. Um, I have the keg right here. It's been washed and sanitized already. These are some of our brew buckets. Um, in here is fermented kombucha tea um, with the scobies. And they are, I have my brew tag, they're 14 days old. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stir this, stir both of these. So um, what I do is I will get a little bit of kombucha on my hands and I just kind of rub them together. This way I don't cross contaminate. I get everything kind of primed and ready. If you want to look, this is a scoby. This is, that's a big, and this is what they look like when they're layered out. There's several of them in there. That is, that is a healthy, healthy looking batch of brew right there. So I'm gonna take this, stir this. So every time I brew, they, they, it's like pancakes. They just keep adding layer and layer of uh, SCOBY on there. So what I do is I got filters in my funnel to um, get rid of all some of the, uh, the stuff that's in there. All right. all right, so I gotta test a few things. I'm gonna put the tea in there, my uh, ingredients. So I, I'm adding some of my flavorings and then I'm gonna top it off. Since we've started this, we're up to seven employees now. How many did you start with? Me, that was it. So I do a sample test, taste test. See how pretty that is? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. And then what's next is um, seal it up, wait. So total time from brew bottle to customer is about 20 days. Close that. I hit it with a little CO2. Once it sits in there, um, I typically like to go a week and then I'll, I'll bottle it and then goes to the customers. So that's a pretty cut and dry process. Th this is probably it. This is my favorite part is brewing. I love mixing stuff up and um, it, I mean, it may not seem like much, but there is really a lot of work in here. Um, a lot of time because we brewed this um, 14 days ago, you know, and it's like, if you screw this up, it's gonna take another two weeks to get it back, you know what I mean? So it's kind of, um, I mean, this truly is a living thing because it's got so much stuff. And it's kind of cool saying I, I grew something, you know. So now all I do is just fill out a tag, stick them on a shelf and wait another 15 days. <laughs> so that's it. We're in several stores throughout Winston-Salem. 
the easiest place is just uh, check us out on the web at goldenrulekombucha.com. Yeah, I think we're in 16 locations right now, if, I, if my number is right. To wrap up, that's kombucha in a nutshell. So I hope you learned something. There's a, a lot more to kombucha. You can take it as far as you want to go. I think simple's best. If nothing else, you get know that it's a good, healthy drink for you.